Hello scrappers! Tonight I'm going to be scrapping this. This is a HP Scanjet G3110. It's got the Energy Star on it. This is uh, just a scanner. You can scan your... Ah, gross. You can scan your 8.5 by 11s on here. But this one also has a neat feature. You could put your film negatives in here and you could it would hold your film negatives for you and you could scan those I was actually looking for one of these a while ago but this one's in pretty rough shape it's been in that other garage forever let's uh, see how much it weighs About six and a quarter pounds. Yeah, I don't know who gave me this to scrap. Somebody gave me this a long time ago to scrap. So there's going to be some silver switches underneath here. Let's see how we get into this. Oh, look at that. I was kind of curious if there was going to be an actual scanning thing underneath this. Or if it was this that did all the scanning. So is there a scanner in here? No. Oh, there is. It's backlit. That's what it is. I just broke the bulb. There's a, a light bulb that illuminates this. So your negative can be scanned better. That's neat. Yeah, and that's what held the... That's just to illuminate it. That's just for the backlight. Now, this is glass. Before I cut myself, I'm going to get this... Cut this wire. That's glass. Actually, I kind of want to break that. So it doesn't stab through the bag on me and stab me later on. And these are our silver contact switches. These come off easily. You can just grab onto them with a pair of pliers. Give them a little twist. And these are worth saving. A little tiny bit of silver in each one of these. I won't be getting the silver out. But what I will be doing is I will be selling these on eBay once I get enough of them. And they do add up. We have some copper bearing board. It's green on one side. And some number two insulated. My scale shut off on me. If I don't have something on the scale, it turns off pretty quickly. Now this end here is brass. It usually has a seam in it. You can see there's a seam right there. You can usually grab it and then unroll it. To get your little piece of brass out. And we got some number two insulated. These do not look uh, gold plated. Some more number two insulated. And this looks like a little piece of low grade copper bearing board. Don't know what this little thing is called, but they're easy to get the copper out of. Here's some number two copper. 
This looks like it's going to have copper windings in it. I'm going to try plucking this off. Usually you can just break the ferrite that's around them. Oh yeah, we're getting that. I don't like to go too far into it if I don't know if I can definitely get the copper out of it. Because if you can't get the copper out of it, it's worth more on the board. You know what I'm saying? By the weight. There we go. We got some more number two copper. And some low grade copper bearing china board. Some more plastic. Now, this is going to be tempered safety glass. Get on my screws. This is going to be tempered safety glass. This is going to be pretty tough glass, but you still want to avoid breaking it. And we got screws. Looks like screws. <clears throat> They're too far down in there, though. I think I got it. Hmm. Wondering if I can just pry this open without breaking this glass. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Now, sometimes these rods that like the tracks would ride on, sometimes these rods are brass. Make sure you check them. This one magnet sticks to. Sometimes they're stainless and sometimes they're brass. That is worth taking a look. There's a stepper motor. I'm gonna get back to the bit I'm used to using. Yeah, look how nasty this is. There's no way this is ever going to work again. Yep, definitely done. Oh, we have a crystal oscillator. And these little guys. Always full of copper. Don't know what they're called. Wish I knew. They got like heat shrink, heat shrink tubing around them. Some more number two copper. This looks like a GB, uh, BGA chip. I'm just going to leave it on there. And these monolithic ceramic capacitors are just... Too darn small for my uh, my time taken off. But this crystal oscillator, these you usually just grab them and give them a little twist. These are worth saving too. There's a little tiny bit of silver in this. I won't be getting the silver out of this, but I will be selling it on eBay, and somebody out there will. They do sell. And we got some. I call it green board. It's uh, green on both sides. It's worth a lot more than the copper bearing board. Let's see if I can get the copper out of the stepper motor.
This is just crusted right up. I think I'm gonna cut this wire short. Oh, there's a lot of copper in there. Oh, they're tempting me. Can I get underneath it? There's a lot of copper in there. I'll put on a glove so I don't stab myself. Ooh. Well, maybe, I, maybe I can grab a hold of that. There we go. Get some of it out at least. Some more number two copper. There's two layers. Let me just get this off. Oh, here we go. Got some more tin for the tin bucket. As much of it as we can. Times are tough now. Scrap prices are low now, but you never know. Give it a few more weeks, give it a few more months, or give it a few more years. I'm gonna call the rest of this copper bearing. Got most of it out. Got some more screws. Some screws over here. Now I have to pay to throw trash away. So you guarantee I gotta pay by the pound to throw trash away. So you can guarantee I'm gonna make this as light as I can. You know, why pay to throw it away when you can get paid to throw it away? Bring it to the scrapyard. Now I know these ends here are silver. More than likely. I've been throwing this in my number two insulated bucket. This is more, more, more tin for the tin bucket. Another one of those things. Bunch of little bushings out here, little brass bushings. There's one of them. That's brass. Ow! Ow! 
That's why you wear gloves. It's quite heavy. That's glass in there, so you don't want to cut your fingers open. We got where the power comes in. These switches are kind of handy. I'm going to try to save the switch. There we go. That's a common switch. It's nice that it's got a little lead on it, too. I'll be saving that. Those come in handy. We got some more plastic. All these screws can go in your screw bucket. Almost didn't see that screw, it's camouflaged. It's all corroded. There's number two insulated. And this board's green on both sides. This goes to the light bar. And it's glass once again. Like a little miniature fluorescent light bulb. And this wire goes all the way to the other end and it connects over here. Oh. Yeah, very. It's almost like a large uh, syringe there. Poke right in ya. And some more number two insulated. This little piece of a uh, china board off. Once again, see if I can get the copper out of this. Looks like I can. Low grade china board, copper bearing. Quite a nice little score of copper in this thing, in this printer, uh, scanner. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. We got some more number two copper. This still has a little bit of weight to it. Like there's more than just plastic here. Put on a glove the other day and it had a piece of glass in it and boink got my finger so there's mirrors in there that's why it was heavier so that's it just a mirror Some aluminum. So let's see how we did. Throw my bit in the throw my bit in the pile. I've done that before. That's why my tools get painted red. So I don't accidentally throw them in a scrap pile. So let's see how we did. Scale says there's about a pound of scrap here. Zero it out. And we can have half a pound of tin for the tin bucket. A tenth of a pound, ounce and a half of uh, number two insulated.
an ounce of copper bearing and two ounces of green board. Copper bearing. And this aluminum is not going to register on the scale. Let's see how much brass we have. Brass doesn't register. We got a half ounce of number two copper. It adds up. You never know. You might might have to trade that for some for some ramen noodles or a slim gem and some brass. So not too bad. A few minutes worth of work, make a little extra change. So just remember, guys, scrap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.